you know, looking back at all the videos that we saw tonight, I know we saw the Hail Mary, which we're all true fans of, so I got to say a quick story to that. Um, since I've been able to graduate UT, I've had the amazing opportunity to speak at a lot of events, and so one of them was actually my high school baccalaureate program. This means you know I'm from Alpharetta, Georgia. That's Bulldog Nation. <laughs> and they used that video as my intro video with a lot of Bulldogs in the audience and future Bulldogs in the audience. So they didn't enjoy it quite as much as you did. That's all I'll say. <laughs> That's all i say. But I'm definitely honored to be here tonight to the executive director, John, who's done a great job today, board members, all the youth members, I've had the wonderful opportunity meeting today, esteemed guests, event sponsors. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to be tonight's guest speaker at tonight's steak and burger dinner. For the Boys and Girls Club of Morristown, to Mrs. Bible, congratulations on your Lifetime Achievement Award. You know, combining your passion of horses with helping people with mental and physical disabilities, that's truly inspirational, and you've been doing that for 25 years, so thank you. We appreciate that. I came early because I wanted to spend some time with the kids at the Boys and Girls Club who are sitting amongst you tonight. And yes, we had a crazy dodgeball tournament. And if your kid has bruises, bumps, all I'm going to say is it wasn't me. It wasn't me. That's all I'm going to say. But in all seriousness, you know, I do that because I love seeing the joy on kids' faces and how happy they are, especially in the safe and nurturing environment that the Boys and Girls Club provides. You have to pardon me a second. I'm going to get off script for one sec, but I must take a moment to share one of my public service announcements. Some of you may not really know me, but I am a volunteer. And by God's grace and my parents' guidance, I've had, I've been one a majority of my life. I consider my desire to work in and give back to my community to be one of the talents that God has blessed me with. So when I left home for college, Becoming a Tennessee volunteer was just icing on a cake that had already been baked. Anytime I have the opportunity to physically go and spend my time with the boys and girls like I did today, I try to do it. So I encourage, no, I challenge each of you in this room to do the same. When you visit a place like the Morris Town Boys and Girls Club, you get to see firsthand the positive interactions between the counselors and the kids. And hopefully, in the process, your presence and effort will allow you to be a part of helping to inspire at least one of those that you are there to help. My biggest takeaway when I get these opportunities is just seeing how valuable my time is to others and how much they truly appreciate it. So I'm convinced that God is a volunteer, so sorry for all your Alabama fans in the room, <laughs> but he has to be because he blessed us with the power T. And if you think about it, he actually blessed us with three of them. He gave each of us varying degrees of time, talent, and treasures. So next time you go to write a check in support of a cause, please definitely do write the check and share your treasures, but also find a way to volunteer your time and utilize your talents to positively in impact the community around you. Okay, we can get back on script now. So tonight I'm humbled to stand before you at this podium as your guest speaker, knowing that I am following in the footsteps of many Tennessee greats like Pat Summit, Governor Phil Bresden, last year's speaker and fellow Vol, of course, Morris Towns West High School's very own, James Littleman Stewart, just to name a few. But even though I wear a size 13 shoe, as you can see right here, my feet aren't big enough to fill those shoes. The significance of being a part of tonight's event is not lost on me, so thank you for having me. As we all know, each of the people I just men mentioned is a state of Tennessee legend. And like many of you, I've admired them for many years. Over the course of my time at Tennessee, the admiration has continued to grow because I've seen firsthand the impact that they have had in our communities throughout the state of Tennessee and even nationally. As, a true, as true volunteers, they continue to give. It's hard to believe that we are approaching the two-year anniversary of the passing of a beloved coach of Lady Vols basketball, Pat Summit. And one of my biggest regrets is that I never actually got the chance to meet Coach Summit. By the time I got on campus in the fall of 2013, she had retired. 
However, I was able to attend her memorial service, where so many of her ex-players, assistant coaches, and friends were. As the winningest D1 basketball coach ever, the list of her on-the-court accomplishments is, well long, is long and well-documented. As I talked to those ex-players, assistant coaches, and friends, it was surreal to hear one reoccurring theme about the influence that Coach Summit had on their lives. They all said, as great as a coach she was, she was an even better person. Motivator, mentor, teacher, disciplinarian, friend. These were the words that they used to describe Coach Summit. In many ways, her approach toward the people around her, especially her players, embodied the exact same mission and core values as the Boys and Girls Club, empowering kids, teens, and young adults to excel in school, to become good citizens, and to lead healthy and productive lives. When Coach Summit was asked how she would describe her relationship with her players, she said, what I see are not the numbers. I see their faces. Individual and stats and glory wasn't the focus for Coach Summit. What I see are not the numbers. I see their faces. She wasn't driven by the number worn on the back of the uniform or the numbers produced by the player wearing it. What I see are not the numbers. I see their faces. She was more concerned about the well-being of the person inside the uniform. She was more concerned about creating fierce competitors, confident leaders, good sportsmen, and academic successes, and as a result, winning was the byproduct. This is the same perspective that is seen that the Boys and Girls Club takes with these club members that you see here tonight. Much like Coach Summit did for her players, the Boys and Girls Club also provides an environment that is fun and safe and constructive where the children are not just a member. Their faces are seen and they are valued and cherished as individuals. You know, I thank God for the work that the Boys and Girls Club is doing in this community because sadly, we are living in very tumultuous times. There are so many negative influences and distractions that can destroy hope and derail bright futures. Now more than ever, it is important for our youth to have a place, a safer place for kids, and that's a kids where, people, where kids can go and be encouraged to grow as individuals. This organization serves as, as an important extension of the family unit. It's a place where the youth has access to mentors and counselors that are present and engaged in their lives, and the service and support that it provides is vital for the continued health and growth of the community. I saw this firsthand during the East Tennessee wildfires when I, was able to when I was able to visit the Boys and Girls Club in Pigeon Forge. And getting a chance to interact and talk with the kids for two hours, it was amazing because many of them, they didn't know if their house, if they were gonna go back to their homes. They didn't know where some of their family members were, but they had a place where they could go and enjoy times with their friends meet and interact with their mentors and feel safe and at home and get away from the outside world. When I gathered my thoughts for this speech, I immediately thought of all the people who helped me get here tonight. My parents, extended family, pastor, teachers, coaches, neighbors, friends, think about it. There isn't a single individual in this room who is the person that he or she is or will become were it not for the help received from other people. As Mrs. Bible said, it takes a village, and it's now it is more true than ever. And such as like the Boys and Girls Club, where they, and like Coach Summit with their players, nurture kids in our community to become men and women of character and positive examples as leaders and mentors. Tonight, as we celebrate the outstanding achievements of everyone and honor these members, and the work that the Boys and Girls Club of Morristown has done. In the community, we thank the leadership, the sponsors, and the volunteers who have given their time, talents, and treasures. None of this would be possible without your generosity. In closing, I ask that you keep Coach Summit's words in your heart. Don't be concerned about the number. See their faces. 
see their faces. Thank you all for the opportunity to be a part of this wonderful event. Go Vols and God bless. Before I go, um, I'm going to take a couple more minutes of your time. Not, not too much, but I want Nadia and Hugh, Hugo to come up to this stage. You know, just being around the kids, seeing the impact firsthand of the Boys and Girls Club. When I was younger, I was around the Boys and Girls Club back in Atlanta. We have any Atlanta people, AAU basketball is huge. So all the Boys and Girls Clubs would host the AAU basketball tournaments. But coming up here, seeing the impact that the Morristown Boys and Girls Club just has on, on the community, I definitely wanted to give back to that Boys and Girls Club. And so, of course, I was thankful to have an appearance fee as it all works out and everything, but I wanted to use that and give it back to the Boys and Girls Club and thank them for all that they do so they continue to grow and be a positive influence in the community. Please excuse my handwriting. I was an engineer in college, and they didn't judge on us on handwriting, so. Hey, Josh, can you hold it up? Yeah. I'm going to just jump. Awesome. Thank you guys for having me. God bless and go balls always. I'm short. <laughs> we want to we want to give a token of our appreciation to Josh and the artist behind this token of our appreciation is Ashley Martin. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you.